What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, the one and only, the Paradox Nerd, back again with another video. And today, I'll be doing my top five hot toys of 2018. Hope you guys are having a spectacular holiday season. Um, it, I can't believe it's already almost 2019, guys. And uh, what a year 2018 has been, especially for hot toys. Man, they really were hurting my wallet with all these uh, amazing releases. You know, we got uh, Emperor uh, on the Throne. We got uh, the Royal Guards. I mean, Infinity War figures were just dropping left and right. Man, it has been one solid release after another with these Hot Toys figures. And uh, I can't wait for 2019 and to see what Hot Toys has in store for us. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go straight into my top five Hot Toys figures of 2018, starting off with an honorable mention, and I only have one, and that's Emperor Palpatine Deluxe version. And unfortunately, he just barely missed the cut. This is probably one of the most anticipated Star Wars figures of 2018. And uh, as Star Wars fans, we've been waiting a very long time for Hot Toys to release this figure. But don't get me wrong, the number five figure is a great figure and you're gonna see why Emperor Palpatine barely missed the cut into my top five. So coming in at number five and barely edging out Emperor Palpatine for the number five spot is Hella. Yes, Hella. Hella is hella good and in my opinion probably the best female hot toy figure of the year. She seriously surprised me on how great she turned out. Um, one of the best things about this figure is her head sculpt and how hot toys nailed the likeness of Kate Blanchett. Uh, she also has a great articulation and her outfit is made up of uh, good quality materials making it easy to pose her. Um, my only gripe about this figure is her shoulder joints which are pretty visible with her outfit. But besides that, she is a must own if you are a Marvel fan. And currently she is waitlisted on Sideshow's website. So definitely jump on that waitlist if you haven't picked her up yet. Lee Frog into the number four spot is the one Neo from the Matrix movie. Uh, Neo was a last minute addition to the list because I just recently received him about a week ago and man he turned out fan freaking tastic guys seriously he is a fun figure to pose because he has great articulation uh, he's probably one of the best articulated figures I own and you could come up with some great poses um, other things I love about this figure is the amount of guns I mean uh, accessories that you get with him and uh, also that head sculpt man that head sculpt is absolutely sick guys I can't believe Hot Toys nailed the likeness of a young Keanu Reeves uh, considering that Matrix movie is like 19 years old damn 19 years ago I'm starting to feel old <laughs> but uh, yeah I highly recommend this figure to be added to your collection bring me Thanos coming in at the number three spot is the God of Thunder himself Thor from the Infinity War movie uh, Infinity War Thor is the ultimate Thor to own because he comes with a great number of accessories along with some really cool light up features. Um, I love the swappable arms that comes with the figure making it feel like you are getting two versions of Thor, a uh, Ragnarok version and a Infinity War version. Uh, I love the light up features on this figure which includes uh, light up eyes which are lit by shining a black light over the head sculpt. I mean it's a little gimmicky but I still love the fact that Hot Toys are trying to be innovative with their figures. Um, I also love the head sculpt on this figure. They definitely did some major improvements from the uh, Ragnarok version, making it a really cool looking head sculpt and definitely capturing the likeness of Chris Hemsworth. If you are a fan of the Infinity War movie, this is a must own. And if you are just a Marvel fan, this is a no brainer to pick up. Force choking himself into the number two spot is Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> oh my gosh, did I just say force choking himself? But anyways, Anakin is a personal grail of mine because I am a huge Anakin aka Darth Vader fan. And he is probably my favorite character from the prequels. Uh, when Hot Switch released the final production pictures of Anakin, I was on it like white on rice or uh, brown on rice depending on your diet. I love everything about this figure, especially uh, the head sculpt 
which is my favorite part of the figure. I mean, I love the facial expression they had captured with this figure, making him look so badass and ready to force choke Jedi's. Um, I also love the accessories he comes with, especially his robotic right arm, which is highly detailed, and his fingers are articulated. Uh, now, I wanted to mention real quick that I included the dark side version of Anakin in the same spot because, in my opinion, they are the same figure. The only difference is the dark side version has a beautiful diorama lava base, and the head sculpt is uh, paler and has like Sith eyes. So if I had to pick one out of the two, I give a slight edge to the dark side version because of the diorama base. But man, I highly recommend this figure to anyone who is a Star Wars fan, especially if you're a fan of the Dark Lord himself. Alright guys, the moment you all have been waiting for, the Hot Toys figure which came in at the number one spot, Yondu. Yondu is an amazing figure and is probably number one in a lot of people's list and he absolutely deserves it. The head sculpt to me is a perfect 10. There is absolutely no imperfection with the head sculpt and it is probably one of the best head sculpts that Hot Toys has ever done. Man, besides the head sculpt, the figure has great articulation, great amount of accessories, and his outfit is tailored nicely with some quality fabric, making this the number one Hot Toys figure of 2018. Alright guys, so that is my top 5 Hot Toys figures of 2018. This is actually my personal top 5 list from all the purchases I made throughout 2018, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I would love to know what your top 5 Hot Toys figures of 2018 are, so let me know in the comments section below. Uh, also, I hope you guys have been enjoying the content I've been putting out in 2018. Uh, 2018 has been a good year for me in terms of growth for my channel, and uh, I hope to continue that growth in 2019. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to say thank you guys for all the love and support you guys have given me throughout the year. And from my family to yours, I want to wish you guys a happy, healthy, prosperous new year. Thank you guys again, and I hope you guys have a great new year. I'll see you guys next year.